From Metro Durham, a new journey begins. Saturday, October 22, 1966, the Laportes embarked on a family adventure. The father, the mother, the big brother, the big sister, and the little one set out for their very first Metro ride. Montreal's Metro had just opened a week ago, and the excitement was palpable as they donned their finest Sunday clothes. The family arrived at Atwater Station in Dad's Impala. Following the big white arrow, they descended underground. The underground world felt surreal, clean, new, and shining. Riding the escalator, they encountered people going up, their eyes gleaming like stars. Underground stars. The shiny blue subway awaited them, and a crowd of people stood on the platform, eagerly anticipating the doors to open. With a gentle sound, the doors parted, and they all stepped inside. The ride commenced with two futuristic music notes, and they were off, feeling as if they were flying while still on the ground. The scenery outside the window was a blur of dark walls passing by rapidly, akin to a jet speeding through a tunnel of clouds. The journey took them from Atwater to Guy, Place des Arts, Saint Laurent, Barry de Montigny, Baudry, and finally, Papineau, crossing the city from west to east. They were amazed at the speed, feeling as though they had been teleported. The young narrator, full of excitement, shared his perspective, enamored by the sight of the tunnel whizzing past. On their return trip, they reversed their course, from Papineau back to Atwater, and emerged from the underground shadows into the beautiful daylight. Once again in the Impala, the father, usually a man of few words and a devoted car enthusiast, simply said, good. Though he may not have taken the metro again, millions of Montrealers would follow in their footsteps, as the metro became an integral part of their lives, symbolizing a shared dream and the unity brought by public transport. Now, in the present day, we find ourselves on the verge of a new journey, the REM, Rizzo Express Metropolitan. The author reminisces about the anticipated excitement of taking the REM, a transportation project that extends from Broussard to downtown. It promises a breathtaking view, and for experienced city dwellers, it will feel like a grand mini-rail ride through the evolving Terre des Hommes at Des Femmes. The hope for the REM is to bring positive change to our lives, allowing us to breathe easier and move swiftly under a less polluted sky and a cooler climate. The focus is on planning and ensuring that the system operates seamlessly, even without a visible driver. As readers, we are invited to take this new journey with enthusiasm, hoping that the REM will be embraced by all, creating a brighter and more connected future for Montreal. May the REM become an integral part of our lives, exceeding the frequency with which the narrator's father took the subway. Let us embark on this adventure together, paving the way for a better tomorrow. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.